channel plus size in Canada. My name is Miranda and I went to the great Canadian dollar store. It is actually super close to me. It's only like a five minute drive from my house. So I like to shop there and I wanna share what I got this time because I got some fun stuff and some weird stuff and some stuff that I've never seen there before. So I thought you might like to see it. Um, $49.70 is what I paid at the great Canadian dollar store. Um, so if you don't know about the great Canadian dollar store, it is a dollar store, like it says in the name, um, but it's like a dollar store and more because they have items up to like $30 maybe actually I think I've seen a $50 item there before too so um it's nice for the people in my small town who don't drive or who can't drive to the big city of Moncton which is about 20 minutes away from my house um it's nice because they have a lot of options even you know more expensive items for gifts or something like that and they do actually supply um some local vendors as well so it's kind of cool um, and also you have to really pay attention to the price tag because it's not like Dollarama where Dollarama, everything is $4 and under or, um, Dollar Tree, which we aren't lucky enough to have here in Atlanta, Canada, but I know other Canadians have it at their store or in their area and it's $1.25 per item. Um, and in the States, you know, it's a dollar per item. So it's not that kind of dollar store, but sometimes you score really good deals and I did score a really good deal this time. Um... Let me just show you chocolate chips and I'm already thinking I need to go back and get a few more. <laughs> Honestly, I think I will go back and get a few more just because chocolate chips you use all the time when you're baking, when you're snacking. Um, and actually I really want to do some peanut butter, chocolate, double chocolate, like milk chocolate and white chocolate pretzels because I want to like find a healthier way to have the Reese's pretzels. Those are dangerous. If you haven't tried them, they're in the orange bag, Reese's peanut butter and chocolate covered pretzels. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it unless you want to become addicted to it because every, ever since I tried it, I want it. And I've seen it a few other times in the store and I haven't bought it because I literally ate the entire family size bag in one go, one drive, one trip in my car gone <laughs> and I wanted more. I think it's the sweet and salty mixture, which is just like a lethal combination for someone who's trying to eat balanced, I'm not on a diet. I am done with diet culture. I am not living in it. I don't care. I could very well buy those Reese's peanut butter pretzels, but I'm trying to learn balance and those go against everything I believe in because they're just so good. Oh my goodness. And I know there are going to be some of you that are like, okay, I got to go find those. I got to go try those now. And kudos to you. Enjoy because they are that good. I promise you. <laughs> I kind of want them right now, but I'm going to try to make my own. I'm going to try to make my own. I do, I do like to eat um, natural smooth, organic natural smooth peanut butter from the bulk barn, which I actually need to buy more of. So I'll probably do that this weekend. Um, anyways, I want to try to figure out like maybe a little bit less chocolate, a little bit less peanut butter. And I think I can still make it delicious because you can't go wrong with chocolate, peanut butter and pretzels. Okay. Sorry. I just talked for three minutes about <laughs> one snack and you're dying to know how much I paid for these. They were $2 each. Um, and I checked the, uh, expiration best before the 12th or the 12th month. So December, 2021, that's what that one is. This one is January, so the first month, 2022, and da, 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 this one is best. Okay, so we gotta eat this one first, but I, I don't think chocolate actually goes bad, does it? <laughs> it won't in this house anyways. The eighth month, so what is that? August, I think, yeah. So anyways, um, $2 each. I should go buy a few more. Um, when you see deals like that at the dollar store, sometimes like they're really close to expiration date. I actually think they were selling some that were over the expiration date, which I don't know if that's illegal or not. And I don't want to call out my dollar store because I love it and <laughs> I don't want them to get in trouble. But sometimes they have stuff that's like really close and um, like they had ketchup, big bottles of ketchup. And I think they were expired um, or like about to like super close, but I actually think there were some that were. Anyways, I didn't buy it because of that, um, but they were on a really good deal. And I love a good deal, but I also don't 
I don't know about things past the expiration date because I don't want to like do that much Googling to find out if it's okay. You know what I mean? So $2 for each of those bags. I thought that was pretty good. Normally, um, I think I can buy them for two for $6 together. So $3 each, that's a sale price. But everything, everything is going up. Everything, like, you know when you're like the grocery shopper in your house who does all the supply runs and you know what the prices are of things before you go into the store, you know what to expect if it's on sale. Like you have all of this random mom knowledge and now all the stores are trying to mess with us because they're up in all these prices. And it's like, <gasps> you were 20 cents less the last time I came in the store. And like, it's, I mean, 20 cents isn't that big of a deal. But when you add prices up, over and over and over again, you throw them all in your cart, like you're gonna be paying more for groceries. Just, I know we all are. We're just gonna have to accept it, but I'm just saying, they're trying to mess with us. Like, <laughs> they try to mess with us? <laughs> and the messers become the messies. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, the messers become the messies. <laughs> Moving on, now that you're all hungry, <laughs> let's move on to something that you cannot eat and it might be a strange item to you. Does anyone know what this is? Without reading the, don't read it, don't cheat. What do you think this is? Okay, it's a bathing cap, or I think these call it a swim cap. Um, our local Lions Club, um, like recreational pool, we just call it the LBC, the Lions Basketball Club, because my brother used to hang out there after school and smoke weed. <laughs> Um, uh, yes. Okay. So the lion's club pool is like, you pay for a membership. They'll teach your kids swimming lessons. I actually think Skylar's going to end up working there someday, hopefully, um, as a lifeguard and cause they, um, hire teens who have all the credentials and he's working on his credentials and we hope to have him like done and dusted and ready to be a lifeguard by next summer. Um, anyways, uh, they have, or you have to wear a bathing cap to go swimming there. Um, and we have a lot because, um, sometimes I bring extra kids with me. So I bring, um, extra bathing caps and actually, um, not last year because it was too covid -y. They didn't even open the pool last year, but the year before that, um, my sister and her family were down and it was, I think it was like a Sunday or something. And I was like, let's go to the pool. It was the summer. And we went to the pool together and I was like, Dawn, do you have bathing caps? Did you bring bathing caps from Woodstock? Cause that's where she lives. And she's also a doctor. So Dr. Dawn, you know, <laughs> we got a doctor and we got a YouTuber. Okay. <laughs> it's exact same, right? Exact same. <laughs> I love my sister. I actually have two sisters. My other sister is a manager of, um, a shoe store in Moncton and my brother, is awesome, haven't talked to him in a long time. He's he's a hippie out in BC. So if you see somebody that looks like me, um, say, hey, do you know Miranda? <laughs> and he has long curly hair and his wife's hair is probably a similar color to mine. Um, yeah, just say, hey, Josh. <laughs> Anyways, um, yes. Okay, so back to, wow, I got really off there. Uh, <laughs> my sister didn't have bathing caps for her family and I was like, don't worry about it. I'm the big sister, I got you, I will find bathing caps for everyone. So I went to the only store that had them at the time um, because the dollar store was all sold out. Um, I went to the pharmacy and paid $7.99 per bathing cap. So these were $2 per bathing cap and even though I don't need more right now, I just thought I'm gonna buy four because I imagine that's probably how many we'll lose this year and we need to just keep a supply up, you know? Because if you don't have a bathing cap, you can't swim. And now I'm, I'm super curious to know um, what's gonna actually even happen at our pool this year because they didn't open last year. Um, everything was just too COVID-y and they just didn't know what to do. This year it's kind of worse, but also people are getting vaccinated. My arm's still sore today. I've got no marks, you can't even tell. But yes, I got vaccinated yesterday. No hate for anyone who doesn't want to get vaccinated. Everyone has their own choice. Um, anyways, if you watched yesterday's vlog, which actually I'll link it in the description because it's kind of funny. Curtis gave me a vaccination um, before I went to the real vaccination. He gave me a vaccination with like one of those baby pretend needles. It's not a real thing. But he slapped my arm so hard. And then he stuck me so Hard. Sounds inappropriate, but it wasn't. We filmed it. That also sounds inappropriate. Wow. <laughs> 
Anyways, um, Skylar's at school right now in his bedroom, and I don't even think he's using headphones, so his teacher probably thinks I'm insane. But anyone who knows me knows me. Yeah, I am. <laughs> and it's fun. Anyways, Curtis's vaccine, pretend one, um, hurt way more than the vaccine that I actually got. Anyways, I'll link that in the description if you missed it. I found these. Aren't they fun? Aren't they fun? Okay, so these were, I think they were $2.50 each. Um, they are super glow in the dark. Um, I was going to paint Winnie's room this week. I still think I'm going to do it this weekend. I need some more rollers before I do that. So I need to shop, which is my favorite thing. Um, anyways, um, because I got my vaccine yesterday, every, like I only got called the day before, um, they called me Wednesday for an appointment Thursday. So I was actually planning on doing her walls this week. Um, but because I just got my COVID shot, I was like, yeah, maybe I'll just like wait a minute and make sure like I'm not going to get sick. And I don't think I am. I think I'm totally fine, which is like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> like it makes me feel better because I think a lot of, um, us have noticed a lot of negativity surrounding the vaccines and everything. So of course, like me with my anxiety and, you know, panic disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, all that fun stuff. Of course, my mind is like, Oh no, Miranda. Oh no, Miranda. Like, <laughs> But I think I'm totally fine. So I am going to still do her bedroom. Um, and I wanted to surprise her with these. Um, they're just glow-in-the-dark stickers. Wall art. Hello, Tinkerbell. She looks like it to me. Unicorns. Yes. Castles. Yes. Perfect. And I actually, um, when I was done shopping, I put my shopping bag over there in the closet because I didn't want Wendy to see everything because then she'd be like, oh, put it up now. But I don't want to. <laughs> so um, when I put them in the closet and as I was shutting the door, I was like, whoa, those are really glow in the dark. The whole bag lit up in that like bright neon. So I think these will work really good in her bedroom and I'm excited to do that for her. Um, okay, also just random, got some tape. You always need tape and tell me why I can only find my favorite tape when it's Christmas. Why is that a thing? When it's Christmas, they have like those like big jumbo packs of the magic scotch tape. That's the kind I like the gift wrapping one because it's um, see through and it's oh, it's beautiful tape. OK, <laughs> I know. Why is that fun for me? But I do really love that purple package scotch tape. It's my favorite. Maybe it's something to do with the purple because that's also my favorite color, but it is the best tape. So I think next year I'm going to remind myself, Miranda, Stock up for the entire year, 365 days of beautiful tape, because right now I can't find that. And before, if I found it, I found it last year before Christmas, and it was like $4.39 for one. That's ripoff, and no pun intended, <laughs> you know? I just had to check my receipt because I didn't know um, how much I spent on them. They were only $1.25 each. So if I can't have my good tape, I'm just gonna buy some cheap ass tape. And that's what I did. We always need tape. And I'm sorry, I Curtis is mowing the lawn. I think he's whippersnipping now. Um, <laughs> anyways, I waited until he was done this area to start filming because it is like actually really loud and it's obnoxious to me. Um, so I worry about my friends. I don't want you to be bothered. Um, but uh, I'm just gonna finish anyways. <laughs> which sounds inappropriate. I can't help it, okay? I just can't help it. Ugh, I'm trying not to say that's what she said as much because like, it's, I just don't wanna be yucky, okay? I don't, and I know sometimes I am, and a lot of the times I am, and I'm okay to be yucky like when it's just like me and Curtis, but like, what if you're someone's grandma and you're, and you're, you're, you find me bad? I don't want to be bad. <laughs> well, I do a little, but I, I don't want you to think like that I'm awful. Like I'm nice. I just hear inappropriate things way more than I should. I'm, I might be a little dirty minded. Okay. <laughs> On to something super fun. I got some face masks. Um, I, we have been buying the disposable ones from Costco and don't worry, we cut them appropriately so they won't hurt our animals um, when we're done using them. But we have all kind of agreed, except for Winnie, we have all kind of agreed that um, we prefer the disposable ones just because they don't sweat as much. Winnie does have some kids ones, some are my friend Tara sent Winnie some, and I'm trying to get her onto them, but right now she's just in love with the Crayola ones that I bought her from Dollarama. And there will be another Dollarama haul com coming soon because 
I really need to go there. I should have gone there all week, every day. I was like, oh, I really should go to Dollarama. And then I was like, eh, I really don't feel like it. You have to be in the mood for that kind of thing. <laughs> Again, stop. <laughs> oh, you guys, I hear it all the time. I'm going straight to hell. No, I'm not. Saved. No, I'm saved. That's okay. <laughs> oh, but anyways, let's try on these masks. Is this the right way? No, this is the right way. I should, I should know this by now. Uh, these are only $6.50. Wow. That's nice. I mean, it's not as cute because it's this color. I do prefer the black. I do wish they had it in multi-colors, like maybe even rainbow ones. Oh, I would love that. Um, disposable, three-ply ear loop type. Perfect. 50 pieces, $6.50. So that's cheaper than the Costco ones, which I think are usually like $10 for 50 Anyways, I'm happy to have those because <laughs> I think we'll be wearing masks for still a really long time. And I'm, I'm down to clown with a mask. I don't care. I'll, I'll wear a mask to bed. That's fine. They don't bother me at all. It's funny how your, um, your ideals change as you live in a pandemic. Because at first, I remember when they first, in New Brunswick, this is funny, okay? In New Brunswick. I don't know if it was the same everywhere, but this is what it was here. At the beginning of the pandemic, state of emergency, no one's at school, everyone's home, press conferences every day. They told us multiple times, you don't need to wear a mask, it can't get you, it's not, you don't need to wear a mask, all you need to do is make sure you wash your hands. That's all you need to do, wash your hands. There'd be questions from the reporters saying, hey, didn't this person say you should be wearing a mask? And our government would say, no, you don't need to wear a mask. It's fine. Just make sure you stay six feet apart. Wash your hands. That's all you need. Then like a month goes by and they're like, okay, uh, starting today, everyone needs to wear a mask. That's the safest way you can be. And then stores put out mandates. You can't come in the store without wearing a mask. So it's, I think myself, I think they did that because they didn't want all of us going out and buying all the masks before they had all the protective um, equipment that they needed for healthcare professionals. And I mean, my husband's a paramedic, so trust me, I know that's important. Um, <laughs> but, and at the beginning, actually, they only had two masks per shift, which blew my mind. I have no idea how I got started on that topic. I just want this whole thing to be over, but honestly, I don't care about this. Like, I will wear this till I die if you need me to. That's fine. Just let me go to Disney World. That's all this girl wants. That's all I need. I have a daughter. She hasn't been. We did bring our boys when they were six and eight. Nope, that's when Winnie was born. When they were four and six, we went to Disney World and it was amazing. Life-changing. And I mean, I had been there before with my family one time, um, but taking my own kids and seeing the magic through their eyes, oh, it was life changing. Like I still remember every ride we went on, every moment, like I have more memories from that trip than like <laughs> a lot of other times in my life. Like my teenage years, gone. <laughs> I don't remember those. <laughs> But that's for more reasons than just memory. Um, but Disney World is so magical. And I just got goosebumps, you guys. Do you see this? Look at my little goosies. Oh, I'm freezing now. I want to bring my princess there. She needs to get there. She needs... Oh, I know. She doesn't need. It's not survival. It's just fun vival. And I really, really, really want to bring her to Disney World. That will be like mom goal achieved. Best mom ever. Still rocking the goosebumps. Just got more. I'm like, literally, I'm not kidding you. I can't wait. So I will like wear a full body hazmat suit. Just let me go to Disney World. Right? Right? Right. We want to go. Florida, we want to come. <laughs> That's inappropriate. I can't help it, guys. <laughs> I can't help it. Um, okay, these are really, really, really fun because I bought these for my friend who I met on here. I'm going to send them to her because, and I'm not going to say her name because I also have like 10 other people with the exact same name. So I don't want you to think they're for you if they're not for you. But we talked on Instagram, in the DMs, and you told me, hey, if you ever find one of these while you're out shopping, can you pick it up for me? And I found it. I've been looking for so long. I think she told me 
They were from Dollarama. So I've been checking the Dollarama keychain station like crazy, um, but I have never found them. But then I found them at my great Canadian dollar store. So this is <laughs> number one, rest in peace, Penny. We don't have any more <laughs> pennies here in Canada. Um, but anyways, yeah, this is like our Canadian coinage. And this is our Canadian, would you call this currency or would you just say billage or like bills? Currency. Currency, okay. And see how pretty because our money is gorgeous and like friggin' rainbow style and I love it. Even though we get called Monopoly money by other countries, I'm like, oh, you're just jealous that your money's not as pretty as ours. I feel so bad for you. I'm sorry, I think theirs looks safe. Yeah, it does. I totally agree. Anyways, I am gonna send these in the mail to my friend and I love you, girl. Well, I love all of you. But um, I'm just so happy that I found that because she's been looking for it for a really long time. Funny story. It's almost the end of the school year. And Cooper and Skylar are very aware of this. So is Winnie. Winnie doesn't want it to end. Um, we hope Skylar passes. <laughs> and Cooper was really excited for it to end because he's had a horrible year. Only because he, I mean... He doesn't really even have to try very hard. He's a lot like um, Curtis's older brother, Nathan, who was just kind of like born a genius and they don't have to study. They just log every information in their head. And you know what I mean? They don't need to study like some of us and some of us never did. Cooper the other day was sitting at the table. I think we were eating supper or something. And he's like, yeah, I'm in a pencil crisis. And I was like, what? And he's like, I'm in a pencil crisis. I'm saving my pencils. There's only four left. And there's four weeks of school left. So I'm going to try to make sure that I only use one pencil per week. And then I'll be out of the crisis. And I was like, why didn't you just come home and say, hey, mom, we got any pencils here? I need some more pencils at school. And he's like, I don't need more. It's a crisis, but I got it. <laughs> we all laughed and thought it was hilarious. So when I was at the dollar, dollar great Canadian dollar store, I was like, oh, pencils. These are the ones that my kids like to use. So um, actually, it's not this brand. This is Le Grip, but um, we normally do Le Bic, I think. So anyways, uh, I'm going to give these to him and his crisis can be over and he can have enough pencils to get through to the end of the year. <laughs> he makes me laugh so much, you guys. Like all of my kids are funny in their own way. They're all very different, which really goes to show you that two parents can make different kids, even if like the same two parents the whole time. It's like, what do you call it when it's like they're their own person? Individual? Everyone's, Independent. what? Independent. In, I thought you said impotent. No. <laughs> Independent, that's not what I was looking for. Anyways, everyone is like their own person. Everyone has their own secret set of skills and not Liam Neeson, but <laughs> anyways, I'm just trying to say, Everyone's different. It doesn't matter if you come from the same family, you raised the exact same way. People are different. Everyone is different. And Cooper is my freaking weirdo, most hilarious person that I know. I, th I, I would you, do you think he's the most hilarious person you know? He's hilarious. He's really funny. He's, he's the no, most he's hilarious person you know? Yeah, possibly. Are you going to give that title to me instead? No. Oh, he beats you for sure. <laughs> He's just so weird. Like, he's so weird. You never know what that kid's going to say. And it's like, he's not even trying to be funny. He just is. So anyways, the pencil crisis of 2021 will be over. <laughs> um, and the last two things that I got, you know, I can't walk out of that store without getting something for Winnie. Um, I think I'm going to give her one of these today. And I think it's probably going to be this because it's a pug right? It looks like a pug to me. It does. His name isn't pug. It's Huey. And, um, when you wake in the morning, you'll see this cute little dog face staring with glee. It doesn't say his birthday is April 19th, but it doesn't say like, I thought maybe his name would be like Pugish or like, like maybe like Ugg the pug or like bug the pug, like something that would rhyme with pug, but it looks like a pug to me. And I think think it is but I, anyways i'm gonna tell winnie it's a pug so it'll be a pug to her she really loves this show on netflix we watch it together it's absolutely adorable and it is absolutely a kid's show um it's called chip and potato and it's about um <laughs> it's about a pug family and they have like zebra neighbors and they have koala bear neighbors and panda bears and anyways it's just like it's definitely a kid's cartoon um but 
I thought she would love this and it's so soft and it was six dollars we get a lot of her stuffies from down here because when she comes with me she usually wants one and I can't say no I can't oh I, I, she doesn't ask for much. Like she's not going in there saying, I want this, I want this, I want that, I want this. Like she knows like mommy will lose her shit if you start doing that. Actually, I don't think she's ever done that to me. I don't think any of my kids ever have, but I see other kids doing it to their parents and I'm like, oh, I gotta get out of here. I, I can't handle it. Um, but anyways, she doesn't do that. She'll be like, I just, I wish I could have one. Like she, you know, I'm like, Winnie, do you want one? And then she'd be like, yeah. And I said, okay, pick one. And then that's it. She'll pick one. Sometimes she'll be like, oh, I really, I really can't pick. I, and she'll get really stressed out. And I was like, okay, just get both. Just don't tell daddy. <laughs> and the other little thing that I got her, I wish I could show you her backpack, but she's at school right now. But if you've ever seen Winnie's backpack, you know, she has some keychains hanging on the back of her backpack. Um, and they're all little stuffies, but I've never seen one like this. It's got like a real clip. Um, all the other ones are like plasticky ones. I thought this was really sweet and it's one that she doesn't have yet. Oh, her name is Frankie. That's adorable. I didn't even look at her name because I just knew she didn't have her. Frankie, let's play hide and go seek. Just make sure you never peek. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> October 17th is her birthday and she was only $4. I mean like, and she's really soft. So like Winnie takes all her poppets to school in her backpack. She takes some fidget spinners and like some little fidgety toys in her backpack. Um, because like if they have rainy days or if they're allowed to get stuff out of their backpack and play, especially poppets are like a huge thing right now. So everyone brings them to school. And because I think the class sizes are so much smaller, Winnie actually only has 12 kids in her class this year. The teachers have kind of like let them do other things that other years they wouldn't be allowed to do because normally um, they don't want kids bringing any toys at all. So Winnie has a bunch of these on her backpack and actually a lot of girls do that at school. Boys too, actually. They have a lot of little little guys. Um, anyways, they keep these on their backpack and then they take them outside to play with them um, at recess. And it's actually nice because, because of the COVID crap, they can't play together. Like they can't play with people from a different bubble group. They have to stay in their class bubble every time. So like when they're outside at the playground, there's four zones and only two of the zones actually have like equipment in it, like slides and stuff like that. And the other two zones don't have anything. They all, that was a Cooper face, by the way. <laughs> the other two zones don't have anything. They just bring out a big bin of toys that they have to sanitize after they go back in. Anyways, I'm so ready for this to be over. <laughs> Anyways, I'm excited to give this to Winnie, but I think I will wait for her next prize. Um, but I think I want to give her this today because I want to make her smile. Holy crap! Curtis came in the door and he's like, you're famous. Holy crap! Woohoo! That's amazing, you guys. This guy's going to the fire hall for a little presentation. For 15, it's been more than 15 years, but um, he's been on the fire department for 18 years, I think. Since I was 18, which is 15, 17 years. Okay. Anyways, he's getting his 15 year pin. He's back already. Let's see it. Show me the goods. <laughs> which goods you want? <laughs> That's my pin. Cool. That's nice. I don't nice. know where I wear it on my uniform. It also doesn't match the brass, so I don't know if oh, you do wear it on your uniform or not. Fancy. I don't know. Look at that. Aw. Cool. Add it to the other files collecting dust in our bedroom. <laughs> yep. I seriously feel so blessed, you guys. I cannot wait to open this stuff. And Jasper is too. Can't you feel his excitement, you guys? Can you feel it? <laughs> I mean, he's tired. <laughs> and not even gonna lie, I just fell asleep in my chair and woke up to drool dripping down my face. Like literally, like a teardrop of drool. I didn't even know I was gonna fall asleep. I was like, I'm just gonna close my eyes just for one second. I don't know, like my arm's still sore from the vaccine. A few of my friends told me they had fatigue 
the next day, um, next couple days after they had their vaccine. I don't know if it's fatigue from the vaccine or if it's just fatigue because my name is Miranda. This is Plus Size in Canada and that's part of my DNA <laughs> and my issues. So I don't know, but I gotta do some stuff. And then Curtis is going to pick up Winnie. Yeah, I thought he was gonna be gone longer. He was not gone very long, so no worries. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so one of these packages is actually from Etsy, which I ordered. So we're going to open it. I have waited so long for these. I ordered them a crazy long time ago. Okay, I got two. I think I got two of everything. You guys, this is a Toy Story scrunchie. Hello? Hello? I want one. You can have one. So my idea was, is I'm going to give some of them away here on the channel. Look, Bo Peep. But, but I want one. <laughs> I don't want one. You can have one. <gasps> this one is gorgeous. Oh my heck. It's got Disney princesses, guys. We got Ariel. We got Snow White. <gasps> Rapunzel's on this one. I can only see her hair. Hold on. Let me find her head. <laughs> Hold on, maybe, oh yeah, okay, look. There's Rapunzel. So cute. I spent way too much money on these, you guys. Way too much. I spent $10, hold on, $40 US plus shipping and handling, which I think I spent, I think it ended up being like $80 for everything, plus switching American over to Canadian dollars. Not cool. All right, oh, these ones are so cute. They're little Disney, like, not Disney. What is this guy's name? Mickey Mouse. Little Mickey heads. I do not know that name. So my plan was I wanted to do a giveaway, which I bought some pop sockets too. Disney pop sockets. And they're not going to be here till next month. Oh, oh, this is the best one. <laughs> it's Stitch. And look how pretty it will go with my purple hair. Oh my heck. Yes. I love it. So when my when the pop sockets get here, I'm gonna do um a pop socket giveaway I with two socket. of these scrunchies. You want one too? To look at. So I, I can't. I think I got four so pop sockets. Two for me and two for you. But I, but I like I said, Etsy was really kind of annoying to buy from because I mean, I can be sensitive to what's going on. It's just kind of annoying when you spend the money and you still haven't got the stuff. Whoa. All right, scrunchy city. Scrunchy. Oh, I got something for you today. Do you want to have it right now? Do you want to have it right now? Okay. Close your eyes. It's a pug. <laughs> Isn't he so cute? Well, because I knew I wanted to give it to you, but I didn't want you to see it before I was ready for you to see it. Isn't that so cute? His name is Huey. <laughs> it's just like chip and potato, right? I'm going to bring it to school for the... You can bring it to school. All for teddy bear picnics? Teddy bear? Or whatever you call it, your little picnic. He's so soft, huh? <laughs> Look what Daddy just set up for Winnie. Little water dish and food dish. For the little puggy. But then Jasper would eat him when he leaves. Oh, well, we'll make sure we don't leave the puggy at the dishes unless we're there with him. Okay, okay. You took my doggy's puggy. <laughs> oh, you brought your kitty out too? You're so cute. <laughs> Is that not the cutest thing ever? That's hilarious. I know, I love it. <laughs> Hey, Coop, to help with your pencil crisis. <laughs> Cooper's waiting for Curtis to go get him a dish. <laughs> it's falling off for the go. <laughs> <laughs> he can't. <laughs> he doesn't. He's vlogging you. What to do? <laughs> She's vlogging you. <laughs> I took so long. I'm
Oh, you can't cut the line. Oh, my heck. Coomer, your friends are here. Your friends. Your friends. Is this one mine? Did you want this? Do you want, you want it? Yeah, it was falling. But do you want it? You want me to hold it, Coop? I got chocolate peanut butter. It's really, really good. I got and vanilla, but I'm already done. The queen had her heart set on Dairy Queen, so I dropped off Curtis and Cooper and Jasper. Cooper needs a shower. <laughs> anyway, so. All right, go for it. But Whitney, just let him take it. Wait. You, <laughs> how long? He's just gonna lick it. You can have it, buds. There you go, yeah. There you go. There you go. Take it to your carpet. Take it to your carpet. There you go. <laughs> All right, you guys, it is 7.30. Curtis just left to go to work and I gotta edit this video. <laughs> guys i am gonna hit the hay tonight so hard and go right to sleep we had a lot of fun today we had a great day i hope you had a great day and if you didn't i hope you have a great day tomorrow because balance it's coming for you you're gonna have a good day soon it was here. <laughs> all right we love you guys we will see you tomorrow bye yeah. <laughs>